Hey, what's up all my Sagittarius people? Y'all caught me vaping. <laughs> You have reached my channel, Warrior Revelations, and I am BJ Royal Art, you guys. So I'm coming to you guys with a Toxic Tuesday reading. So today we're focusing on your toxic ass family, okay? So this is for anybody with Sagittarius placements in the chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readings are like advice. You either take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. Any cards that I use, any um questions about personal readings all of that information is in the description box below okay so you guys we got to get started so spirit was like we're gonna be messy today so i know this this lyric box is about love and all this other shit but they told me to pull some lyrics okay so i don't know what y'all got going on in y'all family but we gonna go i'm just gonna pull one okay and we're gonna see how this goes so you know toxic tuesday is all about healing that's why i like that's why i got toxic tuesday I want you guys to heal. Not just, you know. Janae Iko triggered. Go figure, you were the trigger. You bought me to an obstructive view. When you knew the picture was bigger, who am I kidding? Knew from the beginning. You ruined everything. You do it every time. You are my enemy. Ooh. Ah. So y'all are at odds with somebody in your family? But it's like they piss you off. They set you off. They they do shit. They fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they always doing some shit. They just can't be regular. Like, I feel like they bugging you. Like, they always acting like a child. Like, they're immature. <sighs> okay, let's get some Zodiac placements. We have Air Element communicating. So, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And this is maybe, it says go figure. So this could be somebody that you looked up to. You have Virgo, I analyze. And like, you you mad because you like, damn, why, why am I letting you have this effect on me, right? They're triggering you. You have fire element, desire, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. So your anger, you're letting the anger get in the best of you. Like, but I know, I feel like Sagittarius, they know how to push your buttons. It's Pisces, I believe. Capricorn, I use. You guys could be cuspers. And water element, sensing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then you have Aquarius, I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so you can have a sun in or moon in Aquarius or Saturn in Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay, so we're going to get three past life oracle cards. All right. So y'all are just at odds. You just don't fuck with this person no more. Let's see. You have trees. So this could be honestly a grudge. This is not for everybody. This is, could be a grudge against your actual, like one of your parents. Because the tree is like, it holds oxygen. Oxygen is the reason why we breathe, right? We have Native American here. So this could literally be somebody Native American or... I feel like maybe this person also has a certain level of belief systems. Yeah, that's um, like they, they may be more traditional than you are. And then you have um, karmic relationship. Okay. And then you have at the bottom high priestess, high priest or priestess. For some of you guys, I feel like you need to heal from your parents' relationship. Cause I feel like you guys seen some type of, if it, even if it wasn't your actual parents, whether it's like your mom was in a relationship with somebody or your dad was in a relationship with somebody, it just wasn't, 
I feel like it was a lot of ups and downs, you know what I'm saying? So you didn't get like a clear view of what a good relationship is supposed to look like or even if you or you guys were living in an energy of of a facade like you had the perfect family so it's either one of the two right you had the perfect family like nobody you know even thought anything about you you guys you know you know they always like oh the the phillips are always happy look at their their family everything is all good and then on the opposite end some of you guys may have not grown that maybe you were jealous of the phillips like man she has her mom and her dad or he has his dad and i don't it was always something missing and i feel like you find yourself in the same type of situation that your parents were in. So I'm hearing breaking generational cycles or curses. I'm going to use the hoodoo cards. Let's see what the trees are. But this is some, definitely you having some type of anxiety when it comes to somebody who helped give you life. So it doesn't have to be your parents, but it could be your grandparents because without them, your parents would exist, wouldn't exist and you would so your foundation, where you come from. Maybe you're questioning yourself or who you came from. Maybe you guys got a reading and they discovered some stuff and maybe now you want to know something a little bit deeper. Maybe you guys are having visions about where you came from. What's the trees? You have the six of coins here in reverse. And the grandchildren in reverse, which is the star card in reverse. And then the tower. So your intuition. Also, let me say this. I feel like somebody has been going through some situations like maybe they had a miscarriage. Maybe they're having problems reproducing. And I'm I'm sorry if anybody's going through that. So I feel like maybe somebody made a mockery of you. Like something you're going through. Like maybe they try to fucking downplay it or some shit. What's the six of coins? The daughter of cups. The daughter of baskets. And the ancestors here in reverse. So that's like the princess of cups or the page of cups or something. So I'm also getting like something like you have to forgive yourself for things that you cannot change. For people you cannot change. You can't control nobody else. You can only control yourself. You can't help where you came from. You can't help the... um. This could be your grandparents, um, but you can't help where you came from. You can't help what family you were born in, into, per se, depending on what you believe in, right? Give me one more. What's, what connects all of these cards? Oh, give me two. So you have, yeah, generational cycles. Because I have the world in reverse, it says the garden, and then I have the ten of swords, the ten of knives in reverse. Breaking generational cycles. It's up to you. You have the cancer energy in reverse, railroad bill. I feel like you've been trying to figure out what's my purpose. Like, how do I make a difference? And well, you're supposed to break generational cycles, curses. Give me one more. Yeah, three of swords. Things that are heartbreaking. You're supposed to keep your family together, even though you might not can stand them or, you know, you guys are always arguing or, you know, maybe you guys can't come on the same, get on the same page or whatever the case may be. That's because they're more traditional. Maybe you're traditional and they're more modern or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the ten of wands here and the two of cups in reverse. For Native American. I really feel like. So either you're holding on to something. 
about an old relationship. Maybe somebody put something on you as far as like, hey, you know, um, like a heavy secret or something like that. And, and now they expect you not to tell or you uncover this heavy ass secret too at the same time. But you're learning where you came from. It's like you have to go backwards in order to move forward. But I do get a sense that somebody was like, yeah, somebody was not. Maybe maybe you hold this grudge against this person. If it was a granddaughter, I'm sorry, a grandfather or a grandmother or a mother or a father, you, hold, you held this grudge against them. Because they were promiscuous, they were sleeping around, they didn't want to be a family when they had an opportunity to be a family to stay home. Um, you were, or maybe this is you, maybe you are more tra non traditional and they just want you to settle down. Whatever the case may be, I feel like this is a disconnect within your family. The Three of Cups, yeah. And then the Three of Coins in reverse, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Sometimes you can't satisfy other people. So even if they're disappointed in you and how you choose to use your life, uh, live your life or whatever the case may be, let them do them. If you're a non-traditional person, it's okay. Like, basically, I'm getting an example in my mind. Like, basically, like, let's say you come from a religious background and you're in the LBGTQ. You know what I'm saying? Of course, there's some type of... I'm not going to say a contradiction, but more so of a power struggle or something like, you know, or you may just feel like they're not going to accept me because they don't accept this. Right. I feel like until you really have a conversation with somebody, you don't really know what they're going to accept. Because to me, people want to be so religious, but God is a forgiving God. Right. That's what they say. God operates in love and stuff like that. So if that's the case. And he died, you know, Jesus died on the cross for us, for our sins. Then why must we be punished for everything, even if we ask for forgiveness, even if we're not acting in, even if we are just acting in a light of love, if we're not hurting anybody, why are we being judged so harshly? You don't even have to be your sexuality. It could be your career path. It could be anything. So maybe you're break, breaking these generational curses and teaching them, like, it's okay to be non-traditional. This could be your job, right? Like, no, I don't have to go to a nine to five like you that was you, right? I missed all this time with my kids. You missed all this time with us because you had to work two jobs. I commend you for that, mom, dad, parents. But it's time to change the narrative. I went to school, I got the degree, I, you know what I'm saying, I got the certification, I'm, you know, I went to hair school, I went to barber school, I made a difference. I didn't quite do it like you, but I still did it. Standing up for that shit, yo, that'll make you feel better. Because you ain't doing bad, you just doing things your way. And I feel like that's a, something is, what do you call that shit? It's like a... It's butting heads, like you're butting heads with somebody. I don't know. What's this karmic relationship? The free man here. The, so the fool in reverse. The two of coins. Now, I fell out upright, but when I picked it up, it was in reverse. Then we have the, the king of cups, which is the father of baskets. You have the Son of Sticks, which is the, um, like the Page of Wands, and the Eight of Wands at the bottom, in reverse. So, unfortunately, since you have to start breaking these generational curses, one thing that you're going to have to do is to let go of some of these karmic relationships or to face them head on. And understand that somebody did love you, but they lost the opportunity. 
Somebody wants to start over. So you got a lot on your plate, Sagittarius. You're breaking generational curses. You're standing up for your beliefs. And you're having to get rid of these fucking karmic relationships. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Yeah. You have the hangman here. Gullah Jack. And the ten of coins is here in reverse at the bottom. Do what's best for you. You can you should only invest in things that's best, especially if you have children. But even if you don't have children, if you want children in the future, like do what's best for you or what you think is best for your future. If this person has been dragging their feet this long, they're gonna continue to drag their feet. And I feel like all of this shit is triggering you. What's the high priest or high priestess? You have the Empress here, the Big Queen, the Eight of Cups, and then the Nine of Coins in reverse, and the the Magician, Black Herman. It's like you already knew what you needed to do, the people you need to leave behind, the habits you needed to stop, the spending habits. You know, all everything that you... Okay, I know what this is. You have every tool that you need right now and it's time for you to utilize it to break to heal from these generational cycles curses or whatever you want to call them because it's your time right now you have to face the pain i'm getting like face face it if it comes up face it head on even if you need to bring it up to face it like do it because you're ascending right you're at this level in your life where you know things, things are different i don't even know what it is Confirmation. Let me get y'all an oracle card. I don't know what that was. But it's your time. It's you are the chosen one to do it. I keep saying that you guys have been chosen for a while. So this may just be something going on to in your, in your planetary alignments. But right now it's your time. So it's your time to heal. It's your time to, to uh, reciprocate everything that you have given. All of that. It's your time. Any pain... Enemies, let that shit go. Freedom. Come on, spirit. Change. Y'all, for real, you're going through this evolution, this process. So everything that's coming up is for a reason. It's all about to come up, but you about to heal it. That's the beautiful thing. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Wild and free, the horse chooses to run in any direction at its own pace. Understand that everything in your life now is completely within your power to change. Once you cooperate with your soul's request to be free from emotional or physical ties, you become limitless and can run free again. The arrival of the horses bring news of personal journeys and new directions. The white horse brings truth, honor, and integrity, and the dark horse brings the shadow of mystery, pride, and illusions. Bringing both together to create a yin-yang balance allows you to understand what is preventing your freedom. Follow through with your agreements before you make new commitments. You may feel that you are not in control of your life right now. In fact, you are. You can decide at this moment how to react to the circumstances within your environment. Observe your surroundings and discover what your soul really wants. You really have the power and freedom to choose within you. The question is, what direction do you wish to run? Honor your free will by choosing to acknowledge your desire for a break and a change, even if it is only temporary. Right now, your, soul's desire, your soul desires freedom. By removing restrictions, you can move in any direction. Feeling trapped or burdened by family affairs, responsibility, finance, relationships, and or career choices can sometimes make us feel suffocated. Your soul is trying to release you from commitments as you yearn for the freedom to make your own choices. Yes. Breaking away from old attachments and responsibilities, your soul is asking you to be playful and to have some fun. The horse asks you to simply, um, the horse asks you to simplify your life and expand your knowledge. Seek more information before you make future decisions. It is essential through this growth period that you find the freedom that you need to allow yourself to flourish. You have the power to change the direction of your life. Affirmation. I am moving forward in the direction I choose, bringing me closer to achieving my goals and my divine life purpose. The choice is up to you. 
but you're already there. You got to face it, you guys. All right, you guys. I loved it. I love the healing, okay? That's what we do on Toxic Tuesdays, boo. We heal, okay? So please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have, you already know I appreciate you. So until